Greetings, it is Maxo Diddly here, and today I am here with another C Sharp tutorial to help you get an A in your coursework or exam. And today we're here with how to validate an email using C Sharp. So, firstly, this will work with Unity if you are a Unity game developer and want to validate some email user input. And secondly, we are validating an email address. Validating basically means is this user input reasonable? and fits the format of an email address we want to accept. We're not actually checking if the email address exists. We're merely checking if it could exist, because for an email address to exist, it does have to be valid. But an email address being valid doesn't mean it exists. So please bear that in mind. So let's get right into it. So let's look at what we've got to start with. Firstly, we're going to do string Email input equals max at gmail.com. This string will represent user input. Then we're going to do console.writeLine is valid email and we're going to pass in email input. So this is just going to print out the result of our email validation. Before we begin, make sure you import system.text.regularExpressions as we're going to be using regex patterns to validate our email addresses. Don't worry about the component model data annotation import though. We don't need that. So let's look at our isValidEmail function. It's going to be a public static boolean. We're going to call it isValidEmail and we're going to pass in a string and we're going to call it email. So on our first line, we're going to do rejects, email rejects equals new rejects. Then what we're going to do is we're going to put an at symbol, then we're going to put in our string rejects pattern. Then we're going to put a comma. Then we're going to do rejects operations dot ignore case. So what's going on here? Well, we're actually going to be making a rejects object. And we can then store a pattern in here. And what we can do is we can pass in strings to this rejects object and check if they match the pattern. And a rejects is just short for regular expression. And a regular expression is a sequence of characters that specify a search pattern in text. These patterns are usually used for string searching algorithms to find or find and replace, and for input validation, which is what we're doing in this tutorial. So don't worry about typing this out. This rejects will be in the description below, so you can just copy and paste it in here. There are other types of email rejects out there, but this one's going to work for basic applications, so don't worry. We are using rejectsoptions.ignoreCase because emails aren't case sensitive, so we might as well ignore the casing when validating an email. Underneath that, we need to do a return statement, and we're going to do email rejects, which is referencing our rejects object we created here, dot is match, and we're going to pass in email. So literally what's going on is we're going to pass in our string email input into our rejects object to check if it matches the format that we gave it on the line above, which is this string of nonsense. I'm joking, it's not a string of nonsense. All of this has meaning. If you would like a tutorial on what all this syntax means, leave a comment and I will actually do that. And is match will return a true or a false. So what we do is we put this uh, function call on the return statement. So this return will return a true or a false, which will be the true or false that is returned from the isMatch function that we call from our email rejects object. And then this function call of isValidEmail will, will print true or false. And that's it. Very quick, very simple. Let's hit Control S to save our code or hit the save button up here and let's hit play. As you can see, it returns a true because max at gmail.com is a valid email. It's not my email address. However, someone probably does have it. So let's try another email address. Let's try Jeff Boyard. Hit control S and hit play. As you can see, it works. It says true. That is a valid email address. Let's do at gmail.co.uk. It's true. Let's try Hotmail. And it returns a true. 
Now let's write some complete gibberish in here. Hit control S and let's hit play again. And it returns a false. So, that's it for this tutorial. Be sure to leave a like and a comment if you enjoyed. If you would like a more advanced email validation tutorial, or a tutorial explaining how rejex patterns work, leave a comment down below and I'll one day do it in the next five years. I'm joking, I'll try and be sooner than that.